In this movie, we'll discuss how to figure out the ideal resolution setting when you're printing an image. I've gone ahead and taken this low res image, and I've made a duplicate of it so that I can edit it independently, and that will allow us to compare an upsampled version of the image to the original pixels. And I did that, by the way, by just going up to the image menu and choosing the duplicate command, and that allows you to have two versions of the image that you can open independently. Now let's say that I want to print this image. I'll go up to the image menu and choose the image size command. And then inside the image size dialog box, I'll make sure that resample image is turned on for now because I want the image to remain the same size when it prints. I just want to modify the resolution value independently and thereby upsample the image. That is to say, add pixels to it. Now notice that we have this auto button over here. I'm going to click on it because I want to demonstrate what's going on. The ideal resolution value that everybody bandies about is 300 pixels per inch. And I want to give you a sense of where that comes from because it's not always the resolution you want to use. Notice that this auto resolution option offers a screen value right here. When you take an image into a commercial printer, they're going to reproduce it using a series of tiny halftone dots, typically printed in cyan, magenta, yellow, and black ink. The number of tiny halftone dots in a linear inch is known as the screen frequency. And that's what this value right here is. Now, one of the big print standards is 133 lines per inch. If you select the draft quality setting, the resolution and the screen value will be the same. So if I click OK now, I change the resolution value to 133 pixels per inch. That's a pretty low resolution value though. You're gonna be able to see the pixels in your image and it's not gonna look very smooth. So I'll go ahead and click auto again. Screen's still set to the same value. If I switch over to good, now I'll get a resolution value that's one and a half times that screen value or 200 pixels per inch. And if I click on it again and switch this option to best, then Photoshop will set the resolution value to twice the screen value or 266 pixels per inch. But the more typical standard for what it's worth is 267. And yet, if you go higher than that, if you set the resolution to something like 276, let's say, you're not really going to be able to tell the difference because once you have about four pixels per halftone dots, the perceived resolution really doesn't change. Now, the other really common screen frequency in commercial printing is 150. And if I set the screen value to 150 and leave the quality set to best, click OK, I now have a resolution of 300 pixels per inch, which is the print standard that you always hear about. The other value that's worth knowing is 360 pixels per inch, which is generally the best setting for high quality inkjet output. Now about the lowest you want to go, and this is just a rule of thumb, is 220 pixels per inch. And once again, all of these values are assuming that you're printing the image. If the image is ultimately intended for the web, none of this stuff matters. So those are the typical resolution settings, 220 at the low end, 267 and 300, for high quality commercial printing and 360 for high quality inkjet. In the next movie, we'll see what it looks like to upsample an image.